Hello, Bame Farm fans. Look at the trees. Look at the leaves. It's October 1st. It's the last day of MLB season. Uh, and it's going to be the last day of mowing hay, I think. I'm getting ready to call it quits. It's been a long season. And just like last year, we're ending 2023 with first cut. Well, I mowed that section across the driveway. And now I'm on this other section. Oh, it's so thick. We'll see if I rake it or not, or just fail it. The white pea faster is blooming. It looks a lot worse than it really is. There's nothing to the plant other than stem. Really no leaves, now the blooms are blooming. I hope it's not too far along that it won't go to seed. But this may be a one-off. I don't know if I'll mow this next year or not. Just because the distance from the house, um, I'm solidly 15 miles away. But right now, hay is hay. Uh, this stuff's really good. It, it beats a dust ball. Snowball. Look at that, that's green. Ain't nothing brown out there. Also, that was because any of that grass, like the fescue, would have went to seed three months ago. Uh, nothing like all the cuttings at once and being done. It's what we call labor saving. But I had no choice here. I didn't know about this until about 10 days ago. So, it's not my fault. space on the ends so I don't have to I don't have to mow in a circle I can leave a headland and have nice straight rows the whole time now one thing I've got my belt there just in case the one on the mower I see some pretty big cracks in it so I've got a new belt hope I don't need it but I'm gonna run it until it dies it's not too bad to replace I don't have to take much apart. I just might need a good strong arm for the spring on the tensioner. And it's thick. Like, if I'm not going fast, it'll clog the reel. So I gotta keep moving to keep the reel moving. That's probably what's gonna do the most damage to that reel belt, is if I'm going slow. But it's like hay binds, this thing, thick hay, tall hay, especially tall. It mows it like a champ, and I'm leaving it as short as their lawn down there. Well, we'll take a little look across the field. It's hay that's mowed. We got a lot of sun coming the next couple days. Time to bake it dry. Can everybody see what's happening in the back of the mirror there? Yeah, buddy. We're raking hay with the ranger. It's actually really, really nice. This is that former lawn that you saw me mow. Oh, it is delightful. It is delightful. The only problem I'm running into is that... Uh, Oh, the ranger. The only problem I'm running into. Oh. Is that the ranger, I can't get it to turn tight enough. So it's a good thing I mowed it and they've got lots of extra space here in their driveway. Woo! See if he circled the wagons quick enough. I mean, this is super thick. Like. To the point, I don't know how well we can show this off, how tall that windrow is. Everybody look underneath. What's it look like down there? I don't know, I'll have to take a look in a second. Yeah, we got some green spots like that, but it's so dry. Like that was on bottom right there. 
Now the middle windrow, obviously I'm not getting that picked up, but those sh there should be enough other dry stuff that we should be okay. And it'll, it'll equal out and they'll sit out for a couple days and that'll sweat that moisture out just fine once we get it off the ground. Okay, so this is where I gotta like measure and guess. I can make that turn. So I mowed it specifically. I, you know, pretended like I had a, a swinging mower or whatever and mowed back and forth and just deadheaded it across the headlands because these fields are somewhat narrow and very long comparatively. Okay, I'm sure somebody's gonna have to say, oh, it's gonna ramp your drive shaft because my cousin's uncle's brother's sister-in-law, whatever, raked hay with a Jeep once, and it wrapped the drive shaft. Well, let's see how much clearance we got. You see daylight there? There's daylight. Now, you know how it's gonna wrap, wrap the drive shaft, just if I come out here and try to drive over this. And you know what we're not gonna do? We're not gonna drive over the rake tape because it's all fluffy. Um, the point is to try to get more of this drier than it was. That's actually really bright, but it's drier than it was. I am so glad it's not a windy day or else these would not hold together very well. And I'll be taking full advantage of the tread width on the 6610 and its clearance. Not to mention the width of the pickup. It's a good thing it's long hags. It'll once it gets started sucking it in, it'll suck it all in. Oh yes, another view. I need somebody to hold camera and play cameraman. But it's great having the mirrors. You can look down and see. Oh, there's the rake. Not too bad. Do another drive shaft check. It's not wrapped up. That's good. Make it underneath okay. Oh yeah, there's clearance underneath the front axle there. It can tickle it, which is sure it'll be fine. And then this view, I never realized how much the rake sticks out this side a lot more than the other side. You just need some place to put the camera to really embody the driving. Like using a truck to rake. Just don't get a good feel for it. here we've got more room in front of their house so we can make a nice turn on that previous little section next to the driveway I had to work let's like I had to do a little bit more planning this one I can come down and rake the windrow well, let's crank the wheel a bunch let's see if we can make a turn before we get to the tree oh yeah we did now the end I'll have to count over some rows or get creative to come down the next one. Well, I got like probably three more to make maybe. Oh, look at that big pile of hay. But nothing better than a field of windrows. We gotta cross the driveway to see these. I'm gonna park under a tree here in a second to get the rake ready for the road. But here we are. Well, I did not rake that one very narrow. That could be fun.
look at that big windrow. Uh, bales are going very fast and it's hard to like walk and talk and chew bubble gum. We're almost getting ready to uh, net another one. Hopefully I'm going straight to get all this in. If I'm not, I might miss some. Yeah, I gotta think we're going to the left a little bit. Yep, we need net. Oh yeah, look down low. We now have the wind guard in. Starting bell bales has gone well and I haven't broken any shear bolts. So that is a blast. Ready to jump. Whee! Now one thing I didn't do is I should have backed up so they're not rolling out very far. Gate's not opening super fast. This might not have as much hydraulic capacity as the 1086 does. Now that's one way to take in a wad to start a bale. Yeah, that's not always the best thing to do. Okay. okay, so we just made a bale and I've got some time to talk. We're being the spectacle of the neighborhood down here in civilization, way too close to the city. This windrow isn't as huge. I got done at the very end and only had two left. I thought about doing this no rate. And if it wasn't for the fact that I guess it was so late and short on daylight, and the bottom wasn't super crunchy, I I would have gotten no rake and been just fine. Well, we'll get a count here in a few minutes, but we're having fun on the 66 ton, all right. Yay, hay season is a wrap. There's the 66 in all its glory, and there's a field of round bales. We made 25 on three acres. I love former lawns. Well, it was drive your tractor to the campground day because that field ended up being closer to the campground than to home. What a blast. Okay, now I get to drive home this morning. <laughs>